Hey guys, welcome back, hope you're well. So guys, this vid is going to be probably one of my bigger teaching vids, okay? So for those who primarily watch or are interested in like wondering why am I teaching so much, look, a big part of my channel and passion is teaching spiritual knowledge, spiritual wisdom and techniques that help you grow and expand on the most profound level. But don't worry, like my, my informative demon vids, angel vids and spell vids, are still going to be there but i am going to be teaching a bit more now because i think I, I feel so many of us just need these teachings okay so guys in this one if you feel it resonates with you or anyone that needs to learn this lesson please either share it directly with them or just generally share the vids and if you like the vids show the like okay so this video is going to be titled something in the lines of um embracing your obstacles spiritual scars because it's one and the same and i'm going to explain it to you guys now in the teachings and the understanding of that and again guys if i get into the vid um a bit of marketing here if you are looking for a spell caster someone to have a consultation with or a invocation tarot reading give me a shout uh i, I personalize my stuff one on one with clients uh, we get down to the issues and we find the best possible solution to go about it from love work to prosperity curses um you name it you know um, and of course, I have a Chaos Magic course out with Indigo Priestess. That's also available if you're interested. Just email me. Okay, so in this thing, this teaching you like embracing your obstacles, I, I think it's important, especially like in today's times, you know, we are facing a lot of shit from, from just the price, the cost of living has gone up, the repercussions of COVID, all this shit, guys. You know, I understand it. I get it. So I want you guys to learn this lesson, you know, embrace your obstacles. It's it's. It forms a spiritual scar. Whether you embrace your obstacles or not, you still form these scars as you go through life, okay? But, but by embracing it and acknowledging these obstacles, in a more conscious sense, your scars actually become more vivid to the right people and in a beautiful, favorable way. So let me try and explain this in like a, the best example I can think of now. Like a river flowing. I'm sure if the river wanted to talk or had an emotion, it would want to just flow completely straight Nothing stopping and nothing in its way. Just get to the bottom. End of story, you know. So we similar like that. But the river has no choice sometimes. Sometimes there's rocks in the way, boulders with moss, a bird sitting on a bird taking a shit, another animal coming across taking a shit, fish swimming in the way. And the river flows and the river flows. And oftentimes the river takes a bend and another bend and another bend. In other words, the direction changes, okay. So now th this is proven actually. The water at the top of the river has a certain amount of minerals and energy and the water at the bottom, because it's gone through all this extra flowing and turns and, and ups and downs and over this rock, over that piece of shit, over that moss, etc, etc. By the time the water reaches the bottom, it actually has more minerals. So in other words, the water itself is more powerful, it's more experienced, if that makes sense. Like, that's how we become. So if we are, face obstacles in life, right, obviously... It's not ideal, you don't want to. But if you have this attitude, and this sort of teaching is about to have this attitude that just going through life facing an obstacle or a redirection or a no, acknowledge it immediately and actually thank it. Smile and say, thanks, I, I will take that lesson in. I will take the scar, whether it's from a heartbreak, you know, divorce, recovering addiction, getting fired from a job unfairly, um, landing in an accident, falling ill. Embrace it. Guys, embrace it, acknowledge it, acknowledge, also if you see it's making you take a turn in life, you applied for a job that maybe didn't work out, be grateful right there, say thanks, and oftentimes when you get turned down or something doesn't go the way you want to, that person or someone close by will tell you, you know what, why don't you try that, you'd actually be good at this, why don't you go here tonight and meet these folks, that's actually the universe talking to you in a redirecting manner. And instead of resisting it, like, no, I really wanted that, I really wanted that, and be pissed off, that's going to get you nowhere. Just embrace that. It's the second you see it's a redirection, guys, actually do the smile. Say, I see the redirection and I'm grateful for the new direction because it's actually your natural flow. So the easier you go with your natural flow, right, you still gather those scars that still hurt, that still suck, but they become beautiful and they resonate with the next person and the right person. So you carry on going with this gratitude and smiling taking the scars, building up that minerals, gathering all that minerals. And I promise you, at some point and at many points actually with this attitude, you will meet people and they will grant you favor. Whether you can see it or not, 
you will come across similar souls then who will resonate with you. They will see the spiritual scar and they, without maybe knowing it, it's at such a high level of consciousness, guys, but they will see something in you that just resonates with them. You go for this job interview that, that you maybe thought about and you weren't too sure and now you're going for it after practicing this technique and this way of being. This person immediately takes a liking to you. Your CV is maybe not the best, but you get the favor because your spiritual scar is resonating with this next soul now that's gone through something similar. It's just shining out there. Same with meeting potential partners. All this type of favor will come onto you. And if you maintain this type of consciousness and this teaching and this gratitude and this smiling and this flow, that natural flow that you're gaining minerals, right? You keep that energy up, guys. Those close around you, your family, like best friends, loved ones, that energy and favor actually rubs off on them. So it's like a, it's like just a power and a power and upon power and it's a sharing power just by you doing it. And th this technique, like I said, it's actually been practiced by um, the greats of the past, great people and doing great things today, practice this way of being, this way of thinking and accepting. So basically what I'm saying is guys, accept your obstacles, flow with the redirections, be thankful for those redirections, smile about it and try to resist it as little as possible knowing that it's taking you exactly where you need to be as long as your attitude is right and your consciousness about is on track. Guys, I hope that made sense. Again, I'm available for you. If you need any of my services, just hit me up, guys. Be good or not.